Begin at the home screen of the UPS. To get there, press the house button at the top right of the screen. If the house button is already grayed out, you are already at the home screen. Next, press the wrench key at the lower left hand corner of the screen. Then, press the operation button. Now, press the system shutdown button. A step-by-step -step procedure will now be displayed. Some of these options require you to perform a task and some will be performed for you. The first option is to put the UPS into static bypass. This will be done for you when you press the initiate transfer button. The next step is to place your load on maintenance bypass by closing the Q3 breaker in your maintenance bypass cabinet. Notice that the H3 light next to the Q3 breaker will illuminate when the UPS is in static bypass. This indicates that it is safe to operate without risk to your load. Switch the Q3 breaker to the on position. Your load is now on maintenance bypass. The next menu option is to turn the UPS off. This will stop the inverter on the UPS. Power is still being fed to the UPS at this time. Returning to the maintenance bypass cabinet, you will notice that H2 and H5 LEDs are now illuminated, indicating that it is now safe to turn these breakers off. Turn off the Q2 breaker, shutting off power to the load, which is now being fed through Q3. Turn off the Q5 breaker, shutting off power to the static switch. The next step in the shutdown is to open or turn off all the battery breakers. This operation is automated in most cases. If the battery breakers do not open automatically, you will need to manually open the breakers. The final step is to open the Q1 input breaker. This is located in the UPS I.O. cabinet. Open or turn off the Q1 input breaker. The UPS is now shut down.